behind me, I have a whole army of Lego minifigures waiting to be wiped out with this. Let's go. Hello, welcome back to 9114 Design. This is my 100% Lego Nerf gun, guys. As I said, it's 100% Lego model after a Nerf gun. I built it with the Mindstorms EV3 brick, so it's actually really a robotic gun. When I first built it, I kind of wanted it to look like um, maybe a machine gun or something, but then after I started building, I kind of got some ideas for a post-apocalyptic um, shotgun or a rifle type thing. So um, here I built a nice um, stock here. This is just a warning to the parents. If your kids love Legos, then, and you show them this video, then you've been warned. You'll walk into their bedroom one day and they'll have a whole arsenal of Lego weapons. And unless you love Lego weapons, you better not let your kids watch this. Actually, no, you better let your kids watch this. Just if you don't want them to build an arsenal of Legos, then just tell them not to. But before I get you building your own, Let's zoom in on mine and see how it works. Okay, so for my 100% Lego fully automatic rifle, I first want to show you guys that it is 100% Lego, believe it or not. It's just, I need to take these covers off so that you can see the inner workings. Okay, so I just took off the last part of the shell made out of foam board, and now you guys can see that it is 100% Lego. It's not as pretty, but um, that's why you build a shell. I modeled this gun after a green Busby gun that I got at a second hand store once. I thought it was pretty cool. And inside, inside here were these flywheels. And that's kind of what inspired me to um, go build my own Lego version because the Lego is awesome. And I also was thinking about it. I was like, how oh, I can't make it shoot darts. And so I got some rival rounds. All these rival rounds here. You can, they're just balls, and you can purchase them at, um, at any store like Walmart or something. And they're sold actually for the Bible Series Nerf gun, which I think are pretty cool, but it's extremely loud. So that's also why I built this. So my, my um, magazine I'm using is gravity fed. It, it, it fits five balls. And I have, a, um, I have a medium motor that puts them out into this flywheel set. This flywheel set is using just normal wheels like from a um, uh, from the Mindstorm set, used for cars or whatever, or robots. And I'm running them with the two large motors which you can see there. They're the ones with the red tips. Okay, so I just turned on my program and it's loaded with all these rival balls, Nerf rival balls. Now, the way I programmed it is I put two triggers down here. Whoops, all my balls just fell out. Okay, I put two triggers down here. Uh, one is for revving up the flywheels, just like on the green Buffy gun. And the other trigger that looks kind of neat is for releasing one ball into the, um, go into the uh, flywheels. I'll show you how that works. So let me reload this a little bit. Two more. So I'll, I'll press this button here first. They start to spin, right? And then when I press the trigger, releases one using the medium motor like so and I press it again I'm sorry I had a few jamming issues so let me show you again I press that releases one into the chamber at a time just like so okay next one's for you okay before you go build your own here's a few tips remember function before design you want it to work or you want it to look cool. But the purpose of EV3 to make a working super powerful gun is to make it work. So make sure it works. I would recommend drawing it out on a chalkboard or something before you do it. I'll show you how I did it. Okay, a few things I kept in my mind while I built this is what kind of sensors and motors am I gonna use? So I thought about the flywheel. Well, I'll use two medium motors. How do I want it to work? Oh, I'll use wheels to, to 
um, use those flywheels to spin it. So then I would just draw, you know, like two flywheels and then I'd come off of it with medium motors like that. That's a really crude drawing, but say those are the motors. And I knew I wanted them to be flywheels. And then I had to think about um, what do I want to release the bullets into this chamber? And so I thought, oh, I'll use a magazine. So, you know, you just draw a magazine. You know, this is not anything fancy. You just have to think about it, how the functions will work. So I would say these are large motor. This is a medium motor. And then I'll just say we release it into it like that. And there you go. You don't have to draw the gear or anything. This is just kind of like drawing out where you want your stuff to be. Now I know I wanted to um, make this work and I want a trigger, right? So what am I going to use? A color sensor, a gyro sensor? I don't think so. We don't need a gyroscopic sensor. We need a touch sensor because that's, that's what our trigger can do. So we'll use a touch sensor. So over here we'll draw, you know, a crude drawing of a touch sensor. Do we want one touch sensor? No, we want two because we want to rev up the the flywheels before we start firing, right? So you have two touch sensors. Last but not least is what are you going to, what's going to control it? And so I decided to use my EE3 brick because it's, that's what I had. So then you know you have your EV3 brick. Whatever. Kind of like that. And so all these are kind of connected. Oops, that doesn't go there. Whatever. Um, and then you kind of draw how it's going to work before you design it. I love designing. That's partly why I called my channel 9114 Design. And I would much rather like get into the um, like building the frame and body to make it look neat. But you can always do that around the design. So keep that in mind while you build. I'm Ian Blevins, and this is 9114 Design, helping spark ideas for the creative genius. Thanks for watching. Have fun building your own Lego rifle.